The Flight Opportunities Program purchases commercial suborbital reusable launch vehicle services to quickly fly technology payloads in space-like environments. It's much cheaper to fly suborbitally than it is to, say, put something on the International Space Station. So we can quickly fly payloads, technology payloads, to demonstrate that those will work in a space-like environment before we commit them to orbit or to deep space. The ultimate goal of this whole thing is to get a payload put together quickly, fly it. It may or may not work, but we can fly it. It's a whole 20 minutes for the flight. Return it to the PI, he can check it out. If it didn't work, put it back on. We'll fly it again that afternoon. Or if it did work, he can go on to the next level and send it, say, up to the space station. These are all commercial opportunities. There are lots of different choices. We have balloons. We have aircraft that fly parabolic flights to get you limited amount of microgravity. And we have suborbital reusable launch vehicles that will get up to about four minutes of microgravity at a shot. And we actually selected seven different commercial vendors. Most of them are small companies. There was one large company. But essentially, they're all gearing, gearing up to provide uh, uh, multiple flights per year. RSO, how do you read? RSO, screen. Copy. Surveillance. Surveillance ready. We are working with researchers right now to develop their technologies and take it from a lab bench environment to actual flight operations environment. Extending the feather. Feather's moving. Part of the, the real value of the Flight Opportunities Program is that it is effectively priming the pump for an entire industry in lots of different ways. It, it's helping us as the vehicle providers figure out how best to service the research community, but also because the Flight Opportunities Program flights are specifically geared towards technology, it's helping develop the, the actual systems and the technologies and the sensors that in turn are going to enable all this science. The work that we're doing under Flight Opportunities helps provide validation that yes, it can be done, and yes, this is the sort of thing that is worth these other companies investing their, their money in. The Flight Opportunities Program brings together payload providers and flight service providers in such a way that benefits everyone. NASA is very excited about helping this industry get going. This industry will serve our country as a whole new economy, a whole new industry as well as making space accessible to a whole broad, much broader portion of the population. Three, two, arm.